Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today let's have a demo project related to Python web scraping, which is kind of a shady topic to be honest, but there are so many jobs around that on Upwork. And since I'm trying to be as practical as possible on this channel, and Upwork is one of my sources for you guys to earn real money, I cannot avoid that topic. So if you search for Python scraping on Upwork, there was a job 58 minutes ago, then one hour ago, then two hours ago, three hours ago, four, five, six, and there are many pages of more jobs. So in this video, I want to show one of those jobs about scraping implemented in Python. This is the actual job, the screenshot from my phone as I found it from my phone while browsing. And the task is to scrape all 140 Y Combinator companies listed on the page of Y Combinator. This is the actual page. Startup directory with those companies and the client wants to scrape them into a database or Excel or it doesn't matter how to save them because we will scrape them into a pandas data frame which you can use to store wherever then. Now disclaimer, scraping may not be legal or ethical. In ideal scenario you should use the API provided by that website or by that company officially. Some of those APIs may be public, some of those APIs may be under some authentication. Scraping from website is kind of a shady tactic. If the website isn't actually providing the data in that format, then it may be the case that they don't want you to get that data. And it's not even that much about scraping itself, but what matters is what you do with that data. If you publish it somewhere else under your name or something like that, there's a high chance that it's not a legal thing. But actually, I found a good website listing those legal and ethical considerations, so I will link that in the description below. It discusses the copyright, the DDoS, and other considerations. But it all comes down to be nice and ask first or get the data through official channels if possible. Now, that said, let's go to the technical solution. This is the Python code, and I have two versions of that with two tools. Actually, Selenium is what's under the hood as the main tool, but then on top of that, you may use another tool called Beautiful Soup to process the data in a bit different syntax. And there are more tools for scraping, more complex one is called Scrapey, for example. But on this channel, I don't want to dive too deep into scraping topic because as I said, it's quite edgy and shady. I want to talk about processing the data. In this case. So what are we doing here? In Selenium we import a few libraries, actually in requirements.txt there's a full list, so Selenium two libraries, then beautiful soup optionally. To get the requests from web we need the library request and then pandas is for saving the data into Excel or whatever sheet you want. Now we get the URL and we prepare the options for our Selenium Chrome driver, which is imported on top. And the tricky part of web pages, a lot of web pages these days are dynamic with JavaScript, like SPA or other kinds of dynamically formed page elements. So just reading the HTML wouldn't give you the data because you need to wait for a few seconds for the data to load. But those tools like Selenium and others have tools to work around that. For example, you can wait for five seconds to get all that elements that appear later. And then the implementation depends on the page, what is the structure, but in this case, we get the URL, we sleep for five seconds, and then we have four loop to get five pages of data. In this case, we have infinite scrolling, and this is how to work around that. Again, it's one of the options for this specific page. And then we need to process that HTML and with Selenium only, you work with CSS selectors, you find the element like this. It's not a pretty CSS class because it's probably generated with JavaScript and there's a big chance that this scraping script would not work after some time if they recompile with other classes. That's just one of the challenges that you get with scraping, especially if you're doing that without consent from the website owner. But anyway, we find the div element that we're interested in, we save that into a box, and then inside of that box we find other elements that we're interested in, like 
company name, location, description, and others. We save that into variables and then we have the list of Python and append each company to that list. Then we close the driver to finish our session and then we use pandas as data frame just for more convenience saving to CSV file. So we use the first list element as columns and then all the others as company data. And this is the actual result of the CSV that has been saved. So if we launch that, we need to wait for quite a while for the Chrome driver to be installed properly. And in this video, I also kind of missed the pip install part. So from requirements txt, you can install all those libraries with pip. And then now, as you can see on the screen, page one, page two, page three is loaded and the delay, the pause is five seconds. So that's why the whole script takes roughly, I don't know, 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then process finished. And this is our CSV as a result, which I've shown you just a minute ago. And then another alternative solution is with beautiful soup that is imported here in another script. And this part is almost identical, or in fact, it is identical. What is different is HTML. We get the HTML source and then we create the beautiful soup object which allows us to work with its data like soup find all and element find next and other syntax but it's pretty similar to the selenium by default probably a bit more shorter and more convenient with more options specifically for working with html everything else is pretty much identical we build the list we close the driver we save the data into csv so yeah what do you think about the script would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. And what do you think about web scraping in general? Do you work with similar projects and do you consider that legal and ethical? And what challenges do you see with scraping? Maybe we can discuss that together, how to overcome those or what tools to use to process the data. But again, on this channel in the future, I don't want to dive too much into scraping. I want to focus on processing the data and manipulating the data. Like for example, this line is what interests me, which means get all the elements and then use list comprehension and string join to format the data properly. So if you want more examples of things like these, but again, with practical projects from Upwork and elsewhere, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.